Hey guys, welcome to the 28th Autodesk Inventor tutorial. And in this tutorial, we're going to continue looking at the Loft tool. And I'm basically going to be showing you how to use Rails with the Loft tool. And Rails will basically act as a guide for the Loft tool to follow so that we have a lot more control over our lofts. So if I were to just go up here to the Loft tool right now and select these two sketches, I don't really have that much control over the Loft tool. In fact, I really don't have any control. So right now we just see that it just automatically lofts it directly from this sketch to this sketch. We can't really control the shape of it. So if I wanted to make this curvy in here, I could go ahead and do that with a rail. And a rail will basically just connect both of these two sketches and it will act as a guide for the loft tool to follow. So I'm gonna have to go right here and basically create a sketch on the YZ plane right here. And to do so, just go into the Origin folder, right-click on the YZ plane, and select New Sketch. And that will basically just go ahead and create a nice new sketch on that YZ plane. And now what we have to do is basically just create lines that go from this sketch right here all the way down to this sketch right here. And those lines will basically just act as a guide for the loft tool to follow. So if we wanted it to be all crazy and curvy, we could just go ahead and use the spline tool and create some crazy spline. And then when we went ahead and lofted it, it would look all crazy like that. All right. So the first thing that we have to do, though, is actually project this geometry onto this sketch plane right here. So right now, we can't actually access um, these sketches. So to do so, we're going to have to go up to Project Geometry and then just go ahead and select this circle. And as soon as I do so, we see that it basically just created a diameter through this circle that we can now access on our sketch plane. And same with this right here. We're going to have to um, create two points, the center point of this line and this line, so that we can access them on uh, this sketch plane right here. So I'm just going to go up to Project Geometry and select the center point of both of these lines. And now I just have access to those points on my current um, sketch plane. All right, and let me just rotate that view around there so I'm looking at it straight on. All right, so now we see we've got some points to work with right here so that we can actually connect um, these two sketches perfectly. And I'm going to make this all crazy and curvy. And some rules that you should actually know about rails is they must be smooth. So it's going to have to be a spline or an arc or something like that. You can't have like rough lines like this. You can't go like um, this right there. That would not be a uh, valid rail. They have to be smooth. So we're going to go ahead and use the spline tool for that. So just go up to spline and then select um, this point up here. So the top point and then just make it however crazy you want. I guess I'll just make it look like that. And then make sure you end on the bottom point. And then I'm just going to go ahead and click create right there. So now we see that I have a spline that connects this top sketch to this bottom sketch perfectly. And another rule about um, rails is they must go through all the sketches that you're going to be lofting. So if you're lofting through 10 sketches, your rail must go through all of them. And your rail can only go through each sketch once. So it cannot loop around here and then come back through here. That would not be a valid rail. All right, and we're going to want to mirror this. So we want this to be on the other side as well. So I'm just going to go ahead and create a line right through the center right here. And then just use the mirror pattern tool to copy this geometry over this line so that it is perfectly symmetrical. So I'm just going to go up to the mirror pattern tool, select my spline right here. Then I'm going to go over to this mirror line that I created and go ahead and select that and then click apply. So now we see that it is perfectly symmetrical on both sides right there. And one more thing that I have to do before I finish my sketch is actually go ahead and delete this line right here. Because if I don't do that, it will read this as one single line. And remember, one of the rules about rails is they cannot go through each sketch more than once. So it will see this right here as one line, and it will think that it's going through this sketch more than once. So we're just going to go ahead and have to delete this line right there. All right, so now that I have that line deleted, I can just go up to Finish Sketch and Loft. All right, so I just go up to the Loft tool right there. Just like normal, select my um, top sketch and my bottom sketch. And right away, you'll notice that it's not following those rails. And what we have to do is just go over to Rails right here, click in there, select our rail, so this rail right there, and then I'm going to go ahead and select this rail again over there. And now we see that that loft follows that rail perfectly. So as you can see right there, it just followed that um, rail that we created perfectly. 
and if you really wanted to you could just go ahead and create rails on this side as well to make it follow that side alright so that's pretty much it for this tutorial on using rails with the loft tool so see you guys